Hey guys, it's Sterling Bailey with a quick tutorial video. Uh, hopefully it'll make uh, your lives a, a little bit easier. Um, the, the, the tutorial is basically based around being able to select and copy text on a screen, specifically Eloqua, but uh, can, this, this can also be applied to other uh, web or SaaS based applications. Um, the, the use case here is there are sections throughout Eloqua to where I would like to copy the text uh, so that I can paste it in an external uh, external file or tracker or email or something like that. Um, email is probably the most common one. Somebody's uh, you know emailing about me about a particular element within Elo Eloqua, and, and I just need to uh, copy the, the the name or or something like that and paste it into an email to send them. Say yeah, here's the name of that that particular item. And some places, some places throughout Eloqua, uh, being able to select and copy and t copy that particular text is is not made available. Uh, so some reasons are really, really good, um, and others are just, uh, I'm not quite sure why they are the way they are. Uh, one example, not the best example, it's not the one that, that irks me the most, because uh, I, I actually understand why, it's, why it is not selectable and, and copyable, uh, would, be, uh, would be the name of the campaign of an active campaign. If I, if I double click, triple click, right click, anything right on here, I, I, can't, get, I can't get this text. And now I know I could actually go into the settings down here and get that text, but that's extra clicks and extra time I don't want to spend to get it. Again, there are other places within Eloqua that um, that probably make more sense for this particular um, uh, hack, if you will, that I'm going to show you. Uh, but this is just one that's just was very uh, readily available that I could show you. So as I said, I'm clicking all over the place. I can't click this. I could go to settings. I don't want to mess with it. So what I do is I use a plugin for Firefox um, that's called Firebug. Now, several uh, of you, a lot of you with a development background, uh, web development background, know Firebug intimately. It is uh, the tool we use on a regular basis to uh, debug web pages, landing pages, yeah, and emails in Eloqua as well. Um, but uh, it also has the ability to basically inspect any element on any web page anywhere. And since Eloqua, for all intents and purposes, is a web page, uh, even though it seems like just an application, uh, we can actually use it to select and copy text within it. So I'll show you really quickly how that's done. Um, to, I've already got Firebug, and I'll show you where to get that here in a moment, but I've already got Firebug installed in my browser. Um, if I want to activate it, I can either hit F12 on my keyboard or go over here to View, and then Firebug. Firebug pops up. It's this little window on the bottom. Um, you can actually set it to click this button here to set it to open in its own window, but I like it. I like to keep it down here in the bottom. Now, again, this is for debugging. Uh, it's a great tool for uh, looking at your styles on your page. You can have the CSS. You can look at DOM. You can actually... Uh, one really uh, helpful thing that I just absolutely love uh, is the cookies. You can actually see cookies anywhere, cookies that are associated to this particular web page that you're on and delete them. This is great for testing if you've got any kind of cookie-based uh, form or something like that. I mean, we have some forms that basically look for the Eloqua cookie, and, and if we've got it, um, we, we don't actually show you the form. We send you right to the asset. So there's there's things you can do there. But getting back to the... Uh, um, the, the use case here. Firebug's great for all these other things, but for you guys, even for the non-developer, it's pretty sweet. So again, I want to I want to copy this text here. All I have to do is launch Firebug F12. So that's one button I've clicked. Then come down here and click this little click an element to in the page to select or to uh, to inspect. I'll click that, and then now as you mouse over stuff, you can see now it's selecting and highlighting things. I'm just going to go right here to the uh, campaign title. And you'll see down here in the bottom left hand corner the code shows up, the code that's supporting that particular element that I'm on shows up. And I really don't care about the code, I really care just about the name. And I see it right down here, Sterling's Test Campaign Dash Reporting. If I click that just once, you'll see it highlights the whole thing for me. I can hit Control C on my keyboard or just right click and hit Copy. And now it's on my clipboard. If I go and just create a new tab here just to show you that it worked, paste, there it is. I've successfully now copied that name out of there, even though it's not selectable uh, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, pretty slick, right? So uh, just really quickly, last, uh, just, just to finish this up, where do you get Firebug? How do you do this? Um, we'll go into uh, Tools and then Add-ons. It's just going to open up a new browser, and then you can just search Add-ons here at the top right-hand corner, Firebug, and click Search or hit Enter, and there it is right here. You just uh, now mine's already enabled, so you can click enable or install. I don't I forget what the buttons are if you don't already have it, but hit install. Um, it doesn't require admin access, so if you're in a company that uh, you know that locks that stuff down, uh, Firebug is safe to install and, and uh, does not require admin access. Once that's installed, again, um, just hit F12 on your keyboard, 
and it'll launch right there, or you can go to the Firefox menu, uh, view, and then Firebug, and it'll pop up there as well. Anyway, hopefully that's uh, that's uh, helpful to you, and there's a you know there's a ton of places that you can use this. Again, not just in Eloqua, but in any web-based uh, application that you mess with, where you might actually want to be able to select some text and copy it and paste it to your to your uh, to you know to your clipboard or to, to whatever uh, application you want. Anyway. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys next time.